Hi, Tracy here, and I have a layout and process called My Happy. And this is um, a couple of pictures of my daughter there um, on a tire swing. Love these pictures. She is just my free spirit girl. She's just willing to go for it, and it shows in these pictures. So I mixed gesso there. That's just a plain white cardstock. And then I mixed gesso with a little bit of a soft pink. Well, actually, <clears throat> I created soft pink. I mixed it with that darker pink. And then now I'm going back with some really watered down craft paint that I'm kind of mixing the colors because I'm, I'm trying to match the colors in her shirt that she's wearing. She has a heart on her shirt and and it has it's a colorful shirt and I was so I was trying to kind of pull the colors out of that and knowing the papers I was going to be using as well so there I've got some green and I wanted a, a little bit of a bright green and then a, a little bit of a more of a yellow green so I, I mixed all those to get the exact color I wanted and then I'm doing some splattering here so I'm using the October Heart It Races kit for this and I'm not going to use a lot of paper. I end up just using just a few strips. That leaf paper is Teresa Collins Nine and Company and it's called Flowers and I use a strip from the front and a strip of the back and then the polka dot is Pebbles Jen Hadfield homemade collection or yeah home oh homemade collection and it's called homemaker and then I'm going to also add one other strip of it's got the paper has words and it's um, a Chamel paper called Earheart I don't have it out there yet I was trying to use that strip that says magic that is a paper that came in the kit as well but I don't end up using that. There's the Chamel paper. And I know I'm going to sew these across my paper. I just had made that decision. So here I am drying this because I'm feeling impatient because I really want to sew. So it takes me a long time to get that to dry because it's a lot of water, a lot of paint. And then I also I had the splatters as well. And it's actually not 100% dry here, but I decided I wanted to start playing with it. So I was just being really careful. And then I have just little bits and pieces from the ends of my strips that I'm going to use to make a little cluster up there in the corner. So there I did my sewing, and I when I did my sewing, I, my cluster up at the top, I kind of came too, too far down. Um, and then I did some extra sewing just below the cluster, which you'll see in the close-ups. Um, but that actually made it a little difficult for me when I went to embellish. But I do, it worked out. I love the way it turned out. But that's the, one of the problems with sewing is that once you sew it on there, it's done deal. It's on there. So um, this time I risked it because I really didn't know how the cluster was going to look. But I was actually being lazy because I didn't want to have to <laughs> pull my sewing machine back up there again. Someday when I have my own craft room, I am going to relish leaving my sewing machine out and everything else all my tools but for now I'm right in the center of our world here so I can't leave anything out so I'm playing around I had those um, dear Lizzie sticker books and I'm pulling stuff out from those 
And like that little air balloon one, it says fly away with me. It just was perfect because she's, you know, looks like she's flying on the, on the swing and the way she's letting go and her hair is going everywhere in the wind. It's just perfect. And then that circle that says lovely, these Dear Lizzie stickers are very difficult to deal with. It's impossible to get them off and actually have them stick down. So I don't. I just tape them down like as if they were a uh, cut out embellishment. Um, but the lovely circle, it's perforated and it should come off, but it wouldn't. And I could have fussy cut the cir circle out, but when I put it down there to see if I was going to like it, I kind of liked it as it is. So I left it that way. So you can see now the way I have this all arranged, the reason I did the paint the way I did it. You know, I did the right corner of the bottom section and the left corner of the upper section. That was so that, because I knew it would be helping to frame the layout completely. So, and I just went kind of freeform wild with the paint. Just adding color, not necessarily too concerned about how the paint looked. Oh, that's lovely. So I'm working on that cluster down there, that sticker sheet, um, that the little strip of hearts on the like muted peach color uh, or gray tone peach color. That is from the Teresa Collins sticker sheet that came in the kit, Nine and Company. And then I'm going to use that says my happy, which is the title of my layout. So I cut a strip of that and now I'm going to. I'm stapling it down, but not stapling it, not laying it down perfectly so that it kind of comes out warbly. I had done that on my layout, uh, not the last one, but the one before that, and I love it. I really like that look, so I did that again. And I knew I wanted bows, so I had pulled all these bows out, and it takes me a while to figure out which one I want up at the top cluster. I play around a ton before I find the right one, but I knew I wanted that pink one down below with the sticker that says you make my heart sing. And the, the, those chipboard hearts, those are Studio Calico, the green and the, the wood grain, those were from my stash. But they were the perfect grain. That was great. I haven't used them yet and I was thrilled to use them. They may have come from an old Studio Calico kit, in fact. I think they did, but I'm not sure. And then those little cabochons, the stars, the pink stars, those are from my stash. And that is the bow that I end up with. So there's the, at the top. There's the stills and some close-ups. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, click like, and I will be seeing you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.